Welcome back guys, we are here at the HWBOT World Tour 2015 edition Europe Stop. I'm Trufman from Overclocking TV and this is Roman from Germany. Germany. Still live there? Of course. No plan to move out? No, best country ever. Well, we can argue. You don't have the one oh, in okay. cheese we have. Actually, oh, no, you have one in cheese too. Well, so. actually, actually, Canada is cool as well. I have to admit that. But, well, I've, I've visited a lot of countries and there's cool stuff in each country, yeah. So, That's I just... True. Let's say I just stay in Germany and like to travel to the rest. <laughs> <laughs> I know someone that's going to be happy about that answer. Well, so, CPU part, uh, you announced, yeah. uh, and we did actually talk in the OC show about that, uh, the, uh, the, the, bi-weekly, um, the bi-weekly episode we do, the bi-weekly podcast we have. Um, you are launching a new CPU part that is called... Beast. Beast or the Beast? Just Beast. Beast. So, can you present Beast? Yeah, Beast. 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 Mm -hmm. So, yeah, let's go. You have the cameras oh, right there. All right, so, this is the Beast. Now you know why I, ch <laughs> I choose the name, simply because it is a Beast, yeah. So, um, let me just um, tell, like, the background story. Um, I, I think, like, four years or five years ago, I made the first Beast, uh, which was also a CPU container and um, like full solid copper and with a aluminium extension uh, I only made three pieces so uh, that was like, like very limited edition like ultra limited edition and um, the guys really liked it but the issue was like the costs uh, the, the cost the cost was like, was like no the, like yeah the, pro the producing costs and the sales cost was like, exactly the same was 400 euros <laughs> and there were there were two guys um, uh, who said yeah that's actually a great product. I don't care how much it costs, I'm gonna buy it. And back then I didn't have uh, like a, a partner to manufacture the stuff. I made everything myself, like on a machine, standing there for hours and, and doing all this stuff. But yeah, because of the high production costs, I couldn't just couldn't do it anymore. So, um, but I, the thing is, I you know, I started working for Case King and Case King gave me the opportunity to like, um, uh, yeah, evolve my product because I, of course, I had their financial support, which means a lot. If you uh, if you produce something like this, you just you just need money, right? Mm -hmm. You have to buy them. It's, it's like to everything that is industry based at some point need to yeah. need to have like financial support for that. So uh, yeah, basically, I, I just wanted to have like uh, the beast back because back then it was like the non plus ultra container, but I just could not do it. So uh, two years ago, I, I started with the design of this container and uh, I made the first prototype around one and a half years ago which is performing awesomely well. And I had the design uh, in my computer for uh, over one and a half years before I was able to, to order it. So um, last year I, I placed the order for 30 pieces. And uh, yeah, you know, stuff, stuff like this where you just make... It's actually heavy as Yeah, it's, it's, it's 2.6 kilograms. You cannot even... Just the base. Uh, yeah, just the base. It's, it's very small, like looking on my hand. But if you if you imagine you have two and a half liters Coke in your hand like this, it's, it's heavy. So, um, yeah, we it was, it was very, very hard to manufacture because of just of the, um, the quality um, I, I want to have. Uh, if, you, if you do like a premium product like this, you just have to have a great quality and um, when I when I make products I want to I want to have products where I can say I would buy that myself this is this is great uh, so uh, basically this is a piece of copper uh, and it's uh, chemically nickel plated okay. um, just to protect from oxidation and yes exactly yeah and um, a difference to other products on the market is that it's chemical nickel um, I want to I really, really explain it because it's for me it's really important. Uh, if you take a look inside a container, uh, you can see the nickel is everywhere. Like in 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 in, in every corner, you can see the nickel. Uh, if you do uh, the electrical or the gal galvanized nickel, the normal one, um, you will not have it like inside the holes. That's how you can identify it. Like it's it's it would not. I will just be on the on visible the outside, part, yeah, right, exactly. on the outside. Yeah, but. That that's not that's that wouldn't be an issue, right? That wouldn't be an issue. But the problem about the the other type of nickel, which is much cheaper, is that firstly it creates a much thicker layer, and nickel doesn't have uh, a, a good 
thermal conductivity such as copper. So you, you want to have a, a layer on there as, as thin as possible because you want to keep the thermal uh, conductivity of the copper. So just for the basics, uh, every time you have a new layer, you lose in terms of efficiency of the transfer exactly. of the, of the, of the and, uh Yeah, so the, the, the normal nickel plating like you have on, on, on a water cooler, it builds up on edges. So um, that's something really important you have to know because it's uh, electrical, um, it's like, this is like the plus. Uh, in, in electricity and, and then the nickel comes with minus and it's like attaching and it's mainly attaching to the corners so the issue is um, if you have like corners on your container it's gonna build up on the corners and it's gonna look weird like um, it's not gonna look straight then. It's, it's not it's not staying flat it's, mm -hmm. it's changing the the, the ge geometry of the of the surface so actually if you would have like um, the, the normal nickel plating on here you could see like on the edges like they're getting round like edges don't stay edges because they get round because it builds up on the edges. Mm -hmm. that's, that's nothing you want to have because if you want to have the, the contact surface as flat as possible from the manufacturing. So that's why you want to have the, 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 the chemical nickel, which is much thinner. It's more expensive. And more expensive, of course. But well, yeah. So, okay. Um, yeah, it's uh, actually it's 15 micrometer thick. 15 micrometer? 15 micrometer. Damn. The, the normal nickel plating is usually around uh, 10 times more, 8 to 10 times more, hmm. and um, this is like 15. So actually, if you would like polish too much, you could see the copper below. It's very, very, very thin layer. Okay, is there a difference uh, in terms of longevity uh, using the chemical versus the electrical one? doesn't change anything. Just the, like the, the, yeah. the, 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 uh, the uh, thickness of the, yeah, exactly. the layer. So let's get more into the detail about the design. Yeah, actually, I'm impressed that uh, you have like uh, stuff in the back, but that's when you see inside. I don't know if yeah, you can show that's it, something show it on I, the live. Like, like. Um, yeah, it's it's quite hard to see, but um, the key of this container is that it's a two-layer design. You can you can see it. There are uh, there are um, uh, there's stuff in the side. If you if you pour in the LN2 in here, it's like going um, to the outside in the holes, going down inside the base, and from the side. Um, that's why we have those plates here. Uh, from the side, we milled uh, into the container, going inside the base here, like like um, uh, centering the, the the flow of the LN2 into the into the bottom. So. The, the concept is that if you fill in a little bit, it will stay on top here and will have like a very smooth control and you can, I tested it earlier, you can, you can really go by like 0 0.2 degrees and keep the temperature. <laughs> and if you want to have like a really, really... Um, Going uh, down as fast yeah. as you can? Yeah, then you can just fill it up. It goes in, uh, in, inside into the holes. All the holes are connected with each other. With each other. It goes down and goes into the side and goes inside the base. Then you have a very very fast reaction. That's the, the concept behind this container. You have to you have, you have to know that. That's why what makes it so expensive. Then you have those um, those parts on the side. Those are um, uh, uh, aluminium parts, um, uh, black anodized. Also with a uh, uh, with a logo engraving and of course the made in made in Germany. Made in Germany that you're very proud yeah. of it. I'm, I'm really proud of it because every single part of this container, even the screws, are made in Germany. I, I really I want to support firstly the, the German industry and I think that um, in terms of quality uh, it's not only like a, a myth it's, it's just the truth that if you work with German companies and you give them like um, a, a big list of, of things you want to have the requirements the requirements they, they will do it they will I, I told them I want to have the containers that there cannot be any scratches at all not even the smallest scratch on the, on the, on the bottom or I will not take the container and then they say yeah. It's going to be a little bit more expensive, but they can do it, and they will take care of it. And um, yeah, so well, uh, I think that Tulio says you are a genius, Roman. Oh, I wouldn't call myself a genius, but thanks anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, and although hi Sharon, fifteen oh six, that just joined yeah, the live. Welcome to the club. And uh, yeah, so, so that's that's for the base, and you have like this uh, this part right here. It's to access like the. Yeah, exactly. Actually, you have to do it to do that this yeah, design. Because, yeah, exactly. We, you have uh, we have to access the pot from the side for the manufacturing, which also makes it very uh, expensive because you have to like manufacture from 
each from every single side. A so you cannot take just one piece of copper. Yeah, and, like uh, like round normal. Comp uh, let's say like um, uh, EK water box container, which is which is good for 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 what you what you pay. Like the price performance is is, is good. Um, uh, it's like a, a round design. Even one of your one of your CPU pod was round. Yeah. So you just use them and just you can. Do yeah, exactly. If you if you round the container, you can just you can just completely manufacture it from from one side, just the complete structure, and do the other side um, like like here the um, the edges and uh, the thermal uh, the hole for the thermal couple for the thermal sensor. Um, so you only have to manufacture from two sides, right? And from this, you have to manuf manufacture from each side. So yeah, so that's actually that's so six, six six sides, right? One. So uh, of course, that's like three times more work. And um, uh, yeah, and Tullius wants to know five axis CNC. Yes, impossible without five axis. Actually, the the, um, uh, the company which is making those, um, they have uh, four five axis machines like in a row, and there's a robot like um, uh, in front and changing like the uh, the containers automatically. It's quite impressive. When I was there, and visiting. do you have a video for that? Unfortunately not. I was not, I was not allowed to uh, to take pictures or, or videos because of the no, uh, like their manufacturing process. Yeah, um, the roughness is quite hard to tell because the the problem is if you um, uh, if you manufacture by roughness, uh, um, you will have the the thing that after the um, uh, the nickel plating you, you're gonna have a different roughness because you have a layer building up. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, the, the roughness, is, if I remember correctly, is around um, uh, three. Uh, what, what is the dimension? Micrometers per something. Um, uh, so yeah, it's it's like it's like polished actually, almost. Yeah. Okay. That's that's yeah. actually. Uh, but insane. but uh, yeah, the roughness is not is actually not even important. What is important <coughs> is that it's uh, it's flat. It has to be like like really. The, the area has to be flat. If, if, even if you would have a scratch in there, the thermal paste would take, take care of that. So that like Performance-wise, that would not be an issue. But you, let's say if, you're, if your container is like this, and you have to CPU on top, it will not. the thermal paste cannot cover that mm -hmm. anymore. So the, the flatness is it's much more important than anything else. Um, that's why I also said to the company that um, you have to focus on the flatness of this container. So they had to, to use like a, a really huge tool to go like above this. So you can compensate the uh, um, uh, the, like normal, the, the vibrations. The, and the, yeah, the normal um, the normal issues you have with a with a, a small milling tool, um, you cannot have like a, a very a very flat area. So, yeah, a lot of things we had to take uh, care on. Uh, care I mean, of. you've been working for like more than two years in that. Yeah, yeah. This this I wanted this to be like my perfect container. <laughs> yeah. The perfect one. Yeah, this is like the, the perfect baby. Yeah. Uh, uh, so that's the top part. So you have these. You have like the, your your fixations going around here to screw to the exactly. Yeah, the fixation is going. The, fixation. Uh, the mounting plate is like on, on top of here, like uh, mm -hmm. around this edge. And um, I asked overclockers what do they think about extensions of, of containers and do they think this is like useful or not? And um, uh, then they said, yeah, well, we've seen containers, but uh, the extenders you could only have them permanently on there like screw them to the container it was not yeah, like yeah, this. usually you have to like uh, yeah, like yeah screw, screw it like this inside. or put it on top and then put the mounting on top so it's always attached and they did not like those uh, features they, they just wanted to have a pot where they can always take off and uh, on the, the extension so um, yeah how do you do that the, the issue is um, if you have an extension and put it on top if you have um, if you don't think about it, you will have leaks in between here. Yeah, that's actually the first uh, the first thing I told you. It's like, oh yeah, you have the yeah. extensions. Like, what? It's not it's not screwed anywhere. It's not there's no yeah. like a joint or anything. Yeah. So another thing we had to to take care of was firstly um, to get an aluminium alloy which has almost the same uh, thermal expansion rate like the copper. So if you cool down. Um, the, the thermal expansion stays around the same as the copper, so that you don't have any like uh, deformation, which would cause leaks. The, so the thermal expansion for the, for the guests that don't know uh, much about like the physics and so on is that um, different bet the, between the different temperature of um, components like uh, metal, copper, yeah. aluminium, and so on, it's like uh, expanding and retracting depending on the temperature. Exactly. Yeah. 
and so we had to pick the right aluminium alloy, uh, which we found quite quite easy. You can just look it up on the internet; it's not a big deal. And um, then we had to think about how do you how do you like seal it? How do you make it leak proof? And uh, first of all, I've, I thought about putting some kind of uh, like sealant material between it, like a rubber stuff. But the issue issue is there's a lot of stuff which can help you on like plus 10, 10, uh, plus twenty degrees temperature, but once you go like minus two hundred, minus two hundred is like a, it's like a different story. There's and I went to to companies who produce like sealing materials, like all this rubber stuff, and uh, like for L and two D bars, there are special sealant materials, um, ma mainly made out of carbon, and um, they work very well. But you have to apply pressure to those. So okay, the, so, so that will not solve the issue of having yeah, the fixation exactly, on the beam. Because then, then we'd, you would need like the mounting on top to press down. Then it would be like totally fine. Even on, on for going from plus 100 to minus 200, it would be fine. But still, then you have the issue. So um, uh, again, I was uh, I was um, thinking with my company, what are we going to do? So. Um, uh, then we, we just thought, well, if you make it really, really ideal, or in theory, if you have two completely flat um, surface and put them together, they are like almost like glued. They can they can just uh, the forces between the atoms can actually combine two materials, even if you don't. Glue but th them. that need to be like extremely flat. That's just a, the a theory, right? You cannot by manufacturing you cannot like uh, achieve this kind of uh, surface quality. So uh, we thought. We thought just let's try it. Let's try to do the surface as flat as possible, and and see if it works. And so we so we did uh, two pieces, uh, like one piece of aluminium, one piece of copper, and made it like really really flat, where it's small uh, with um, uh, a special oil to man uh, to to the mill. And um, so when you, when you uh, work on the copper, it's going to be very very smooth. And so, and so we put the aluminium on top and um, poured in the alum too. And there was no leak. And so if I, if I put it like this and fill it up up to the, to right there to will the be no leak. There will be no leak. That is only with LN2 or other with water. I I didn't test with water. We can test. Do we have water? Actually, yeah, but actually I don't want to put water. Okay, we need to. We're gonna prepare that. We're gonna take a short break after and we're gonna test that. Yeah, I wanna test it. Yeah. I wanna see. I, well, I can um, something different for um, for the bottom part. Um, there is uh, a special sealant between the aluminium and the copper. Um, it's uh, you know if you have a, a pan, a fry pan, uh, you know those which are uh, specially prepared so nothing sticks on the on the on the, uh, on the surface. Mm -hmm. um, the material which is on there is between there just as a liquid material. It's, it's liquid PTFE, liquid Teflon. Okay. It's a it's a special um, stuff made for um, usually to seal LN2 pipes together. So I found that stuff luckily, and that stuff is between. So you can here. you can have like a, like the sealant you do for the like the plumbing when you change that on, but it's just Teflon, right? Yeah, but it's like liquid. The same stuff, just liquid. Interesting. And hmm. uh, it's not that easy to find, and it's made for yeah like to seal um, like pipe systems which are filled with LN2. You have to seal those as well, right? Yeah. So I, at one point I thought. Some, do somehow, do it? Yeah, somehow, someone has to do yeah, it. Somehow to in, the, in, in the industry, they, they have to do it. So I, I called one of the companies who are building like those pipe systems <laughs> and said, yeah, how do you seal those stuff? <laughs> and then they, they got me in, in, in touch with the company making those sealing uh, uh, sprays. So that's, that's between here. So I'm, I'm sure if you fill it with water until here, it's, it's never ever going to leak. Because that's 100% that's, that's leak proof for sure. Even if you apply pressure on it, so um, that's. But we we could actually test about the water here. That could be interesting. You never tested before? No. Why would I? Do you want to test it? Yeah, actually, it could leak. But it, why why not why not test it? It never. It's, it's not like it's not, you use that today, right? You use it to do your your record on. Yeah, the, man. Um, the two world records I did today with a W. It's not world record. Okay, it's, it's a red top score. No, it's a global top a score. A global top score, yeah. Yeah, global top score. I'm so used to, uh, yeah. <laughs> the all way of things. So, you used LN2 today. You have insulation up to here or up to the... Uh, to the uh, to yeah, the, well, that's... that's um, a matter of preference. Give me uh, 10 okay. seconds <laughs> and you're going to do a one-man show and I'm going to get some stuff. <laughs> so, Roman is actually going back to uh, his uh, desk to get more information about that. Don't forget that you can ask any questions on the live chat. Uh, thank you guys for sticking around. It's actually... 1 a.m. here in France. I'd like to thank uh, Aerotrax that is on the live chat as well as Joker454 
Niebitsky, Niebitsky, or maybe that's uh, Polish, I don't know. Uh, Tullius that was asking some questions, uh, Turti tu Turti Tubes. And I think that Roman is back. Um, so, guys, don't hesitate. Keep on uh, pushing the questions. Keep on pushing the questions to the chat. And if you have uh, any, uh, Xiala is still there and answering uh, your questions directly on the chat, although at the same time, he's making a big eyes looking at me like, oh no, I didn't expect to do that. But uh, yeah, now he is. <laughs> Um, a lot of people say you're a genius. No, you just... That actually was part of your studies, like uh, in general? Actually, I, well, I studied this stuff, right? So, actually, if I would not know how to do it, I just failed my studies. <laughs> I studied uh, mic microengineering. Uh, I'm almost done with my studies. I'm just doing all my final work and all that stuff. So, yeah. But by, the, by the summer, I will be relieved. There were some good jokes on the live, like when you say that this is actually, uh, oh, I need to change the camera. That when you say that uh, this part is actually like 100% leak proof, there's something, oh, 100% leak proof, like the Titanic? Well, not sure if you uh, throw an uh, iceberg on it or if it would last, but. <laughs> but honestly, that this, this stuff is very heavy. Yeah. Mm. That, that's, that could be an issue with people traveling a lot for overclocking even, but yeah. well, if you get top scores, you can get the... The thing is, if you, if you travel with those things on the airport, yeah, just always say that it's, uh, it's made for... Um, how do you tell if you, if you put pens in there? Um, oh. A pen <laughs> yeah, holder? It's, it's, it's a just just pen pretend it, it's a pen holder. <laughs> if, you, if you tell... You know, it, well, it has holes, right? So you can put pens inside. If you tell the security guys at the airport it's a pen holder, everything is fine. If you're gonna start explaining that you, that you pour liquid nitrogen and gas inside there, they're <laughs> gonna be like, like <laughs> "Okay, uh, please come with me. Yeah. We have some questions for so, you." So yeah, pen holder—that's the magic word. Okay, uh, we were talking about the uh, insulation earlier. Yep. Actually, that is part of the product packaging. Um, the, the pot comes inside this tube. Like all your pods actually come. Uh, all my pods, all my products come come with this um, packaging, and um, every uh, container has uh, a special uh, water jet cut um, insulation foam. This is insulation foam water jet cut. So how does that work? So you have like a, a, a high pressure. There's water like like uh, like I don't know how many bars, like few hundreds or even thousand bar uh, of. Uh, uh, of water and it goes through the foam and you can just you can just cut the like in, in perfect shape you can cut those those pieces and um, uh, that's well that, that's how you can see uh, I can show it to the camera it perfectly fits around there and you don't have to cut any insulation that's much more handy than cutting any armor frags and it's more sustainable because it uh, if you if you use this stuff on uh, minus 200 it's not going to crack Oh yeah, so but like it's, it's gonna be filled with water uh, after after a while. And no, does it soak water or no. nice? No, it's it's not soaking up water. Hmm. So that's why it's not cracking then. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Why not laser cut? The, the price? Well, <laughs> no, laser cut would uh, would melt. Oh, it would melt. Like melt. You, you can uh, well you, if you do laser cutting. <laughs> um, uh, you know that you have the, the laser beam, and the laser beam is go, is going uh, like like this on a, on a certain point. You have you apply a lot of uh, energy on a very small spot, mm -hmm. but the spot the spot can only be a, a, like a few millimeters, not even a few millimeters of height. So and you, here you have uh, I think it's like seven, seventy millimeters of height. Um, for this kind of height, you can only do water jet cutting. Okay. Yeah. So so you cut them like. Uh like well, these piece each every yeah, time, for, right? First of all, you, you get uh, you get like a, a big layer of those, like uh, it's, I think it's two of two and four meters layer, j just with this height, like a, a huge piece. So like like a like a square one? Yeah, or? like a square. And, and, and then but even cut the round the round. And then and then you you get the, the water jet comes and, and cuts like this. Oh and, really? And like this. I yeah. would expect that this was actually sold like this. Sold like this. No, it's so actually, actually <laughs> in the old box you're keeping only that. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's actually yeah. I'm throwing away like 99% uh, of the foam, but yeah, well, that's how it goes, right? But yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and that that's that's insane. I didn't knew about uh, water high pressure water cutting before. Yeah, I, well, before I before I started to get deeper into the like uh, packaging industry, say like that, I, I was not aware of how people actually cut their stuff, but. Um, uh, Oh, it uh, seems like the retards are back. Oh, sorry, did I say something? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we have some guys yelling in the background for no reason. Yeah, you can recycle the foam. That's no issue. 
So actually, when you when you have it, you can just put it like inside and yeah. So that's used as uh, packaging oh, yeah. and insulation at the yeah, same time. Yeah, it's like it's like oh, yeah, that's, that's the other one. Yeah. It's like uh, really safe because um, first, like few years ago, um, when I did not have a proper packaging, I had issues like with shipping. If you ship it all around the world, um, and people uh, don't care about the product, they just throw it. So that's how it looks. Fits nicely. Like fits perfectly in there, and then uh, another piece on top. Sweet. And there you go. So that's how you sell them. You have the fixation inside too at the same time. No, that's that comes in a in a separate package because um, you don't want to put them inside the pot either. No, uh, the thing is, uh, I want to have them separately available. Sometimes people. Uh, like lose a part or um, uh, want to have uh, like a spare stuff so I, I, I wanted to have like the, the mounting separately available also one reason is for the fusion container like the round one I have um, uh, I offer like different uh, color combinations let's say you can have a black a black pot with uh, like uh, like red, red, red top black to uh, blue top everything even like a special uh, form of plastic top and uh, well, to have like the, the biggest amount of, uh, of of combinations available, I had to just make it separately. Yeah. Okay, I, I was laughing because Tiara was saying, "Yeah, people keep losing screws." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. One asked about the price. Yeah. Drum roll. Yeah. Well, it's five hundred euros. Mm. Say it straight. Well, this is like the premium product in the in the industry, right? Uh, you can you can also buy a Titan you can buy a Titan X you can get a uh, a GTX 960. Well, some guys want to have the Titan X. They want to have the best of the best. Then you have to pay for it. So some want to have the beast of the beast. If you want to have the beast, you have to pay for it. <laughs> Man, that's that's a lot. Uh, questions from uh, Cloud V or Cloud V2. Um, how are you saving a lot on shipping and uh, when you design actually this uh, the shipping stuff? Shipping? Why would I say? Um, because of the space that you use, uh, or it's actually just easier, and you had like, a, you find it funny, and say, okay, I'm just gonna use that for my shipping. You you mean the, the yeah, like the round uh, oh, round no, system? Ah, okay, well, the the round system initially um, I found it because um, usually like big manufacturing tools like the 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 milling tools, the milling tools, the milling tools, the milling them, tools yeah, you the can buy too. come usually in such packagings. So when I was back in the days when I was making my own containers, I was buying like the tools and I got them in like in those packagings, and uh, I thought actually like technically they are perfect because they're round, they're hard to break, and um, yeah, I just wanted to have like a technical packaging, so that's why I picked it. Yeah. Well, well, good job, interesting. Uh, there's some people like Tullius on the live says I want one so bad and I will pay for it. Actually, I want one so bad, but I won't pay for it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, it's going to be... Um, so, yeah, where can, where can you buy them? Uh, 8ECC, your website, Facebook page, Case King, where? Uh, you don't know yet? It's, just, it's too sorry, new to, to say? Yeah, it's um, okay. Uh, well, first of all, all the stuff, I have to say a big thanks to, to Case King, really, because um, without Case King, it would not be possible for me to invest so much money to, to get those. It's, it's just too much. And um, that's... That's why it's going to be uh, exclusively available at Case King. Okay. Uh, I will help if somebody like needs it outside of the EU. He can order it at my website. What happens after he orders you just my website? Buy them to K I, I, from ju I just buy it myself at Case King and ship it over. Okay. Uh, like like helping the guys outside from the EU. So um, uh, if you're from the EU, you can do me a favor and buy directly at Case King uh, because it saves me some work, and you will save still get the same parcel just with a different <laughs> uh, shipping sticker, a sticker on it, right? Uh, yeah. Okay, so that's gonna be at Case King, 500 euros. Yeah. When uh, when can we buy them? I hope within the next two weeks. I have all the pots ready, uh, but um, it's quite difficult to um, yeah to to implement it like in the in the shop uh, architecture because of uh, usually you know you know a normal uh, a normal like distributor uh, like. Um, gets products like from Intel a CPU and sells the product right so it's quite easy to implement mm -hmm. it in the shop but like this I have to buy a lot of different parts from different manufacturers and mount it myself 
every single pot I mounted myself completely to the quality check and um, then we have to sell it and like the the bureaucracy how is this yeah, bureaucracy the yeah, bureaucracy behind this it's and quite the paper much stuff. <laughs> yeah the paper stuff just to to turn it from all the single parts into a product which is available at a shop yeah it just takes time it's not that easy so uh, once we got that uh, working uh, it will be available also like the fusion one uh, the fusion 3.1 my my other container will also be available at case king i see um we didn't speak too much uh, can you just open it back and uh, put it back up? because i want to test the water leak i want to test it yeah I, I, actually honestly i think it, it leaks because the viscosity of water is much different from from ln2 and hmm. you, uh, from, uh, ln2 you also have the light and frost effect right yeah. so uh yeah i would guess that it leaks on top but well, I, I would guess that too but I mean, you've been using that one for LN2 for... Well, LN2 LN is no issue at all. It's, it's made for that, and I can guarantee I, I guarantee that it's not leaking on LN2. So if you buy it and it leaks on LN2, you can ship it back. <laughs> but it's not going to happen. <laughs> I offer also 30 days... Uh, like a term. guarantee yeah but, but you just have to pay the shipping back and that's actually the, the biggest <laughs> cost <laughs> no but nobody ever returned any container to me so i'm quite happy about it so actually i could uh, offer like one year return but <laughs> let's not overdo it uh, uh question from your spot how long do i need to suck to get one <laughs> <laughs> I think it, it depends on on your uh, on what how much you earn per hour. <laughs> uh, Jumper one eighteen say can I permanently borrow one? Yeah, for five hundred euro, you can permanently borrow it forever. <laughs> it's no problem. <laughs> uh, the, another questions from Joker uh, fifty four Roman. How long do you see you use your LN two hardware motherboard CPU and RAM? So that's actually uh, not related to the CPU, well, but okay, itself. Yeah. Uh, that really depends on the hardware. Uh, some hey, keep it down. <laughs> uh, That's it. It's uh, a bit more quiet now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, some some mainboards I, I use for for like literally on months on Allen too. Mm -hmm. Like um, uh, the Maximus for Extreme, uh, the Sandy Bridge I use for ages and it, there was like no issue at all and uh, yeah if you do the right insulation preparation it, it lasts <laughs> <laughs> sorry guys I, I had to do it it's been the all day like this it's yeah it, it's I'm I'm not saying like I'm not going about the PC master race uh, thing uh, we all know but uh, you know there are, gamers, there are these, but, these yeah. console gamers and I don't know what, what's what's the deal behind it but they constantly scream. I, I think they should maybe. Um, I don't know if it's console guys. Maybe there's some of the PC guys in the back. No, what, no. What game is that? It's like Mafia Zone. I didn't even know what that is. But so. the game is who's the biggest retard, and he's <laughs> he's clearly winning. <laughs> <laughs> no. Sorry, guys. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you up so, uh, yeah, you were saying that uh, depending on the hardware you're using for a few years, actually, if you keep them, if you don't resell them, or actually, do you keep the hardware yourself, or you sell them after you use them? Uh, it depends. I like I, I have a, really a huge stack at home. Like usually I don't I don't sell the stuff because those are samples. If it's like a sample, uh, officially you're not even allowed to sell it. Wow! I never sold any sample. Actually, no, that well, was not a sample. That was a gift. Some, for some samples, I am officially allowed to sell them after yeah, I delivered. Yeah. Let's say let's say I'm get, uh, getting a motherboard to do a it review. It depends on the deal on how you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, some 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 have the the, the deal on it. Like um, do something for it, you can keep it and do whatever you want. Sell it afterwards, nobody nobody cares. But it depends on the deal. Some hardware you're just not allowed to share, especially uh, uh, CPUs from Intel. Okay. Wow, that's uh, interesting. You get a lot of stuff now that you're working at uh, at Case King. Because yeah, for people that didn't know, you have your eight ECC company before. Yeah. Even now you're working at Case King, but you're still doing that eight yeah. ECC. So Case King is like a distributor for your other company, basically. Yeah. Well, well, actually, like it's it's like it's like Case King is like getting the same like eight ECC because I'm now working for them, right? Um, it just goes hand in hand because in future I really will release even more own products. I'm actually also working on a water cooler. Yeah, so you're just not only LN2 because so far you only have the LN2 stuff. Yeah, well, the water cooler is going to be special. Say like that. It's something I cannot tell you yet, but... Leaking! Uh, he's leaking information, I know. 
<laughs> yeah. So, guys, okay, start recording. He's leaking information right so, now. So, yeah. <laughs> Let's say like in maybe or teasing six, maybe yeah in maybe six months you're gonna see a water cooler that beats every other water cooler. Oh, that's that's harsh to to make statement like this. Well, I already have like the the first prototype and it beat every sample. Just saying, just saying. <laughs> well, can't wait to see that. Uh, can't wait to test this one. Uh, one last question I had. Uh, I completely forgot about the the guys yelling in the back. Uh, that's not the same mounting system that you have on the other uh, CPU, but yeah, well it's. It's almost, uh, uh, yeah, well, uh, I even uh, changed uh, the springs. You know, you have to have uh, springs to keep down the container. If you mm -hmm. have, uh, if you cool down, uh, some parts are shrinking and you want to have like a steady pressure. So you have to have the springs like uh, compensa Ad adjusting, like compensating the, yeah. the, the shrinking. So um, for these, I even got me my own springs. Like uh, I, I mailed a company saying, yeah, I need specific springs with a specific diameter of the, of the steel and specific uh, uh, pressure rate especially. So I can now tell if you, uh, if you do one like rotation of the, of the, of the screw, you're gonna apply 2.5 Newton pressure on the, on, on the, on the CPU, CPU. So if you like turn once on, on all, you're gonna apply 10 Newton of pressure to your CPU. It's quite easy to calculate, right? So, uh, so some some guys are really like um, very very careful, or how do you say that? Um, over over predictive on, the, yeah, on that? Yeah, not, not not like that, but um, they they want to make sure that everything's like very consistent. They want to have their system being consistent. They want to have the same pressure every time, so they have the same cold bug. And uh, if you if you buy normal normal cheap springs from the store. Um, they will like differ a lot, so it can be that the one spring applies a higher pressure than the other one. And I didn't want to have that, and I want to. I wanted to be able to to tell the guys like how much pressure do you actually apply. Uh, so you test that with the special tool, or no? I just sent the like the uh, uh, the description of the of the spring to the company, and they made the the spring like specifically for this application. That's also one expensive part of it. Yeah. So uh, because. You know, Intel says that you should not apply more than 20, 250 Newton of pressure on the CPU, which equals 25 kilogram. So, uh, so you, you can, can actually put something that is 25 kilograms on the CPU. Actually, yeah, the max. But that's just for the CPU, not yeah. for the socket, not for the main board or stuff like exactly, that. Exactly, like like just uh, between the uh, like actually the pins of the of the CPU. Like if you put the the, the, the CPU on the pins <coughs> and, and apply pressure, the maximum Intel allows is 25 kilogram, which is a lot if you that's think about it. I didn't really expect. Yeah, I didn't really yeah. Expect and um, if you go above the 25 uh, kilogram, it could happen that. Um, uh, that uh, you lose contact, like you bend the pins too much and then you lose maybe a memory channel, that happens a lot. So the maximum pressure you can apply uh, with, the, with the springs um, is 22 kilogram. So then even if you tie them as much as you can, that's not gonna go over the official Intel specification then? Well, the, uh, the container is almost three kilograms, so... So that's gonna be 25 flat? <laughs> yeah, exactly, because if you add the 30, 30 Newton meters of... Uh, oh, but then you put LN2 on it. Oh, too bad you go over it. If you put LN2 inside. That's actually true. <laughs> actually, damn it, I, I actually, didn't think about that. Actually, that's a mistake in my calculation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. German engineering, QA. Yeah. <laughs> German engineering, French QA. <laughs> yeah. Oh boy. Um, work questions at uh, please, it's illegal to buy ES samples, it's Intel property. Uh, Girls Grand, are you Francois? <laughs> Why is the question? Oh no, there was worst uh, saying about uh, selling samples and so on. But it's not, uh, yes, I was saying samples uh, when a company send you like a motherboard and so on, like uh, to test or to do some uh, scores with it. So. Yeah. <laughs> well, weight of the frost. I think that's gonna be uh, not that much, Xiala. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, your life became much more difficult now. <laughs> well, well, that's actually interesting. Like the uh, the amount of time and research you put into uh, into these kind of products. Uh, how long have you been doing uh, LN2 hardware, like uh, LN2 well, pods? Well, I, I never used any other containers. I always, from the start, used my own stuff. Uh, so in 2007, when I started with uh, extreme overclocking, I straight made my own container because I was one of those guys thinking they can do everything better. 
which sometimes is not true. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, yeah, my first container was not good. Yeah, it was really not good. Mind you, it was like a, was like like a, a flat piece of yeah, yeah, solder yeah, with some stuff in it. Kind of like that, yeah. It's like when you think you can do everything better, but in that case, I, I proved myself that I couldn't do it. Uh, but I, I just wanted to like improve myself and always make it better and improve the products. And yeah, I, I, I think in total I made like over 50 different designs and tested a lot of stuff. Uh, so every time you have like some feedback or do from the other yeah, so on how they use it and, and why they like yeah. it or not. So now it's like eight years of uh, of designing uh, LN2 containers. So that's why this is like. Do you think you can do a better one than that? CPU wise, I don't think so. So you think that, does that mean that that's going to be your last one or maybe aim at different usage? Uh, yeah, this different, is. Different usage, I, I'm not sure if I'm gonna like release anything like more more advanced than this one I'm I'm I might do uh, like a, a, a entrance container I'm planning to do like entry level a, one a entry level container which is like really cheap and um, the issue with that is uh, the manufacturing in Germany actually because whenever you do something in Germany it's gonna be expensive for the rest even in Germany it's gonna be expensive but uh, for example I have like customers from India and uh, all over the world. Yeah, even the Indonesian guys, that yeah. these guys are pushing so much. They or need some, or, uh, some or, to or I had some much. some guys from Brazil or Argentina and everything. And if they buy my products, the euro, well, the euro dropped now, but still, it's it's. I quite mean, if you, if you talk about yeah. Brazil, like the the yeah. the real is dropped so bad that it's yeah. gonna cost them like even more. Yeah, and so if I think wow. about making an entrance container, which for in Germany means like let's say 120 euros. Wow. It's still expensive for some guys. Mm -hmm. So um, for the entrance container, I'm still not sure. I might change, like um, maybe do it abroad, uh, uh, like a, a very entrance container, mm -hmm. which is cheap, just just to, to give the people the, the opportunity to uh, to step into the, to the overclocking. But it's definitely not possible with like the German uh, German well, manufacturing because it's just it's just too expensive. Yeah. yeah interesting, interesting to to see that we we had some. Uh, Remark on the live from uh, Gurk's Gurk's pad again. Like Roman is petting the uh, the pod like it was a uh, oh yeah, da, 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 yeah like a dog. <laughs> yeah, actually you're pretty um, you're pretty proud about that one, huh? Well, I put a shitload of time in it. Yeah. And, and, and one thing I want to say is uh, those products are like that. That's nothing you do to get money. It's like like you cannot you cannot earn money on those things. If if you think about it, it it, it took me like let's say two or three hundred hours just to do the design on the computer and uh, get the like the design uh, stuff ready for the manufacturing. Uh, it's like that's like not paying off, off at all. If I would, would work at McDonald's for this, I would be much much richer, right? Uh, but for that amount of time, you for that amount of time, I would earn like like probably like twenty times more. Uh, if I would just be at McDonald's, but uh, that's that's not the key, right? It's just I wanna because I always use my own gear. I wanna have like the best stuff possible because I I wanna beat other guys on the on the rankings, and I I figure sometimes I figure out like yeah, if the temperature was more stable or could even go lower, for example, for AMD CPUs, then I would like, then I could go better than other guys. So for me, it's like. Uh, also uh, to improve myself and my, my own score so there's nothing you do for, 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 for money well you can calculate it yourself if you put so much time in it and you have 30 pieces for sale well yeah but you have to invest a lot of money into that so yeah money I, and time yeah if I if I if I'm like like uh, break even after a container I'm always happy which usually doesn't work out <laughs> but it's fine yeah <laughs> we had some uh, remark and question on the live chat um, few one where yeah can you like we were talking about like, the water jack cutting for the foam yeah uh, do you plan on making some for like a special main board so you can cut the design just plug it on it and just go I did that already uh, but the issue is that um, I have to take like a certain amount and uh, if, if I think <laughs> about I, I do the design let's ma maybe for the rampage 5 extreme I have to take 100 pieces and then I'm thinking, ever, ever, if I, if I am, am I ever going to sell 100 of those water jet cut parts? And I'm like, probably I'm going to sell 20. So it's not worth it. I would like to. And do especially it. the time you have to put into because you can get the data sheet, but still, you still have to design the cut, right? Yeah, you have to measure like every single part of the board and the, the amount of time you spend on it. It's, it's really not worth it, especially because myself I don't insulate like that. I it just you don't insulate. 
prepared yet. I just, yeah, <laughs> all I do is like put on the, the liquid insulation tape, which is doing like the electrical insulation, and then I just put a, put some table paper towel on top just to catch if there's any ice or water. That's fine. That, there's nothing else needed. So I don't need it myself, so I'm not going to do it. <laughs> sounds yeah, sounds once stupid, again, come back to the yeah. same uh, to the same reflection. Uh, Hmm. So any From more the questions? questions uh, if you um, use helium, does it make the pot lighter? <laughs> <laughs> no, since liquid state is heavier than hair. Actually, that's uh, L liquid nitrogen. Liquid, uh, liquid helium is a v it's weird to use. Helium is lighter than air, so if you put it in, it's just gonna like Go leave, leave the container. It, it's not gonna leave the container unless yeah. you tie it to somewhere. Yeah. It will just not weight anything. But even the liquid phase oh. is going is going down. Even but uh, theoretically, yes. It's like it's like having like well, you cannot have vacuum inside something because it's 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 literally nothing. But if if there are no molecules inside something, so you have a vacuum, it's technically lighter <laughs> because the the particles inside are missing. Yeah, it's maybe not even not even zero point zero it's zero one gram, it's but it's lighter. Yeah, so you're right. Yeah. Theoretically, you're right, but theoretically, in, in, in you're usage, right, but practically, <laughs> yeah. Uh, you were talking about uh, making a cheap the container. A jumper 180 was asking a uh, cheap dry ice container would be good. Uh, actually, you can use some of your pot for dry ice. Already. Well, all the containers in general, there is like, there is not really like a, a something which could hold you back from pouring dice into an LN2 container. But there are some products on the market which are uh, specifically just made for LN2 um, like for example this top part um, it's it's like sealed for LN2 it will not leak if you use LN2 but if you use like acetone for dyes it could leak because this is an LN2 container this is specifically made for LN2 if you if you buy my fusion 3.1 it's an LN2 and dice container. You have aluminium and copper, but they are sealed together with a with a liquid Teflon, like the same stuff mm -hmm. you have here. And they are they are tested on on acetone and uh, water and LN2. So they are 100% leak proof. So if you have a container which is um, uh, uh, tested uh, like leak proof for every uh, medium, then it's fine. Then you can use it. Yeah. Interesting. So yeah, as especially with this like a uh, special feeder you have here. Uh, this one's like you test that with LN2 because that's the intimate, uh, intimate that, that that one is just meant for LN2. You you, you you should not honestly you should not spend 500 euros if you if you're just going to uh, overclock with dice. This is this container would not help you overclocking with dice because the structure is so complicated that the dice will not be able to enter like yeah, all well, the all not. the all the parts. So if you wanted to overclock with dice, Fusion 3.1 is better than this one, even if it's not even the half of the price. Interesting, interesting. Uh, do you plan to release? I, I have a lot of questions for that. And I love, yeah. I love that. So when I saw the picture, I was like, oh, fuck yeah, <laughs> that's a new one, something yeah, to talk thanks. about and, uh, and get some stuff going. Uh, do you plan on releasing a high version of it? Uh, not yet. Um, but then you have to change some of the packaging and the form at the same time. That's actually, that's actually another cool thing. Yeah, yeah no, you can just expand well, it. You know, you, you could make it like, like this height, like, like this. I'm not sure if it makes sense. Uh, like, like really really high because it's extendable because it's fully screwable but uh, for me this, this this height was like perfect you can pour in like like um, like 0 0.4 liter ll2 uh, actually you, you saw a video of uh, of you cooling down the actually yeah the maybe CP. you can uh, you can put in my video of uh, which uh, i made uh, because there are after i posted the container um, a lot of people were asking like how fast does it actually cool down like compared to other containers and uh, so I decided to make a video. Um, Is that on YouTube or on your Facebook page? Uh, it's, uh, it's on YouTube. Just uh, just do uh, Beast Cooldown. Cool minus down. Uh, let's just like this. Yeah. Okay, wait. I need to uh, switch to the screens right here. And so we can watch we it. Have. Yep. yep. Can, can come, come in at the same, same time. time. All, All right. right. So. Uh, uh, here, Here you can see the container, container and on the right side you see a, a high, uh, high uh, precision uh, thermometer and uh, I, put I put a stopwatch next to it because I made like a time lapse because, because, because you, you don't, don't want to watch like three minutes of this, right? So uh, what I used, uh, uh, what I did is I used um, uh, uh, one liter of LN2 in total and showed how fast and how deep you can get with it. And 
Yeah, yeah I, think I think it ends uh, around, around four, four minutes, minutes and uh, the total, like, uh, like the real cooldown cool down time was 200 seconds, seconds uh, from, from uh, plus 20 to minus 150. 150. And, and yeah, with, with one liter you end up at minus 153 degrees, degrees which, which is actually, actually quite much. much. That's, uh, yeah, that's usually, usually more than you need for most of the CPUs. CPUs. Most, most CPUs like do like, like minus 120, minus 130. So, so yeah, yeah, you, you don't, don't even need one liter to pull it down. down. That's, that's perfect. perfect. Actually, yeah, I, I, I like this kind of... of uh, oh, 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 I don't want that video. That's yours too? No? Yeah, that was not relevant. No, not relevant. Sorry, YouTube, that's not the right one we want to have. And, and see, see you guys, we can see echo, we can monitor what... Uh, yeah, yeah, that, that was echoed in the video. video because, uh, uh, sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah that, that video had some, uh, some, some slight issues, issue, I would say. Yeah. Yeah. Here we go back. Yeah. yeah. Um, what's next for the future? Well, um, Getting married, having kids? No, no, not that kind of future. Well, like the overclocking voice. Well, um, like container-wise, uh, currently I'm uh, finishing the, uh, the new Raptor 4 Slim. There will be a new slim container for um, for, GPU. for GPUs because uh, I want to I, I wanted to change basically the mounting and uh, the structure to have a best, better like reaction and uh, if everything works out I will be able to present it right at Computex because there are some vendors who want to do live shows like four way and they requested some solid containers to bench Titan X on four way uh, so that means Computex some Computex. people are going to bench Titan X so on the are, show floor yeah there are some some <coughs> vendors I know exactly which one I, I didn't knew about that but there's only two people always doing that and I think that's going to be well, I don't say. Well, yeah, and uh, so... Well, my guess is G-Skill or Galax, one or the other. So, uh, two of them are... They requested some new Slim containers, and I said, yeah, we'll have them ready for Computex. So, that's the plan at the moment, to have the, the Slim container ready. At first, I wanted to have the fat new Raptor 4 ready, which is also coming. Uh, but, yeah, I had to delay that one because of the request of the Slim pods. And, yeah. Okay. Uh, what's going to change in the new revision? Um, uh, new design inside or yeah new internal <coughs> design uh, like something completely like really completely new uh, the, the new slim container is kind of like the beast of the slim it's gonna be quite expensive to say like that the beastie then <laughs> yeah it's like a small beast for the GPU um, uh, yeah and uh, especially the mounting the mounting is something new as well uh, I also got a patent on the mounting because it's like a new principle as well Okay. and it's the same for the Raptor 4 the Raptor 4 is like only just a, a, a bigger version of the Raptor uh, 4 Sloan interesting well I like, to, I like to talk about that guys don't forget if you have questions we are monitoring the live chat okay let's check those um, um, what do that cooldown pics was epic sick cooldown Roman thanks what do I need to do to get an autograph from Roman and the HWBot team well, just email me your address and I will just write my name on something weird. Like, <laughs> actually, I never in my life made an uh, You know what? We can do it live. Yes, guess that. You have some paper right here? Actually, yeah. Actually, just... That's going to be live autograph. Yeah, we're going to do a live autograph for you and you put your mm -hmm. uh, your address. Just mail it to... Uh, uh, it's, not, it's not a nice piece of paper, but... Maybe I do have. No, I don't have extra ones. Ah, ah too bad. There's some uh, guideline in the back. Ah, no way. No, I don't have any nice paper. So we're just gonna do it for the video. Well, like, I have one of my, my one of my cards, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, <clears throat> let's just take my business card. <clears throat> so, uh, where wait, is wait, the, wait, which this one? one? This one. This one. <clears throat> Here. This no. one? No, this one. <coughs> so, okay, where is this? So, this is the back side of my business card showing the, the containers I make. Uh, I don't want to show the, the front side because of my phone number and everything, <laughs> <laughs> obviously. Uh, we're going to sign this one for you and you're going to email your... Uh, uh, send a PM uh, to uh, uh, Overclocking TV channel uh, and... Uh, we're gonna send you one, actually. So we want one. We want one. We have. Yeah, you have we have to. Have si we have to sign it now. You have 20 seconds to uh, tell us if you want one or not. And actually, uh, Roman uh, gonna send some of his uh, business cards. 
uh, sign in the back. It's one card. It's a very it's, thick it's card. It's one card. It's a German Damn. German quality business uh, card. Well, I will uh, hide your number on it, and it's like I don't know if you can see it, but it's it's very thick. It's like uh, like two millimeters thick. So sign the first one. Uh, wait. So right, wait, wait. See your I number. have a Fun very number? very bad signature. So actually, it's not even it's not even worth taking a look at it. But okay, okay. Oh, I you want to sign on the on the front one then? On the front. No, no, on this on this side. Good. Just just gonna. There you go. It's signed. So I signed my business card for you. So <laughs> if if you ever wanna have my my signed business card. It's just in the mail. I will include something for you, but it's not a beast. <laughs> <laughs> so, Cooling God want one. Jumper 118 oh, want one. <laughs> Do you have enough? <laughs> <laughs> so, who want one? Uh, that was uh, Cooling God. Okay. Oh, shit. What, what, what did we start? I only have two business cards with me. So, so, so that's going to be only the two first one. Jumper 118. Actually, I could give a t-shirt. Actually. <laughs> okay, guys. Cooling gun and Jumper 118, you get one. one each. Yeah. So you yeah, can one each. the second one. Oh, yeah. Live, so you know that it's live. That's going to be yours. Yeah. And that's it. So... I will uh, I will send you guys a PM. Ah, uh, Tullius, just too bad. Uh, the Roman only had two business cards. I'm sorry, but I already gave away too many here. So, uh, uh, but you know, you know what? Um, sometimes uh, being the loser is not the loser enough. Uh, you're gonna get yeah. the OCTV okay. T-shirts. This guy, the, the Ger Gerks Pat. How is okay. he called? Okay, he's, he's he was first. He will get one. Damn and it! Who was second? Who was second? Ah, oh, damn it! He was the first one who asked. Okay, for okay. It. So Gerks Park was first because actually that's what he was Pat. asking. <laughs> he <Yeah>. was asking. <laughs> um, Gerks Pat. So business card with a T-shirt. Uh, with a T-shirt, yeah, you're yeah. gonna get a T-shirt as well. So OCTV T-shirt. Uh, wh where does he have to send his address? Uh, to? I will send you guys a PM in a minute. Yeah, we will uh, contact <laughs> you. Uh, cooling God, get the business card also. Yeah, and Cooling God and uh, one eight jumper one eighteen and two use I send you a T-shirt. Yeah, jumper eighteen, uh, we will contact you and send you a T-shirt. Uh, OCTV T-shirt, of course. I yeah. will ask you the size then. I will include a, a thermal grizzly thermal paste for you. For all of you guys, I will include the thermal paste. Hey, uh, boy, that was nice. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So this is the time for oh, uh, Cloud Nine, uh, Cloud V2. Too bad you arrived too too late. I'm very sorry, <laughs> but you arrived after that. <laughs> we cannot just you cannot keep so. on going like this. Uh, okay, guys. So that's two business cards and three T-shirts. That was. I could kiss you. Wow. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> um, so we just gave away three T-shirts, three thermal pastes, and two awesomely signed business cards. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I was getting well, a drink. Well, actually, <laughs> <laughs> sometimes, sometimes you just have bad timing in your life. Yeah. <laughs> actually, that's so, just better than. So yeah, I was taking a shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually better to say, oh, uh, I was getting a ring. Yeah, that's uh, There were other questions, I think. Uh, uh, Roman, what do you think about King King Kingpin spot? Actually, it's always actually, coming back. Actually, you, you know, you know, um, Kingpin and me, we were actually good friends. And uh, uh, he was one of the guys why I, why I initially start, started with the overclocking. And the products he, he made... Or let, or, you know the stuff he, he now sell, sells is, is like has been on the market for a while. So um, the stuff he makes is very very good. He he did a lot of like uh, inventions inside uh, uh, the industry. He did a lot of lot of stuff where he was first in making a lot of like solid copper container with with dark nickel plating. He was like the first to have this on the market. He did a lot of inventions on the market. So mm -hmm. yeah, there's there's nothing bad I could say about that. Really. It's, Good stuff. I mean, and you guys are friends. I mean, every time we, we, we go and up friends. in, uh, in company. Every, every time I go to Taipei, I visit, I visit him. And yeah, so it's not like uh, we're like opponents. We're like, really, literally good friends. Uh, okay, guys, we're going to put back the stream to the guys that are still benching. We have two, three, uh, five. We're almost left like 12 people still benching right now. Um, and during that time, I'm going to send you guys the PM for uh, the good and the great stuff uh, that you get you want um, you want to say you want to add one last thing for tonight and we could actually do uh, it's like already 2am and it's a bit too 
too late. Uh, don't forget, guys, tomorrow morning, actually, not tomorrow morning, in a few hours, <laughs> uh, we're going to have the lunch show. So that's going to be around the, the, like... Uh, it's called the breakfast show. The, uh, it used to be called the breakfast show when you do it at 8 p.m. At 8 a.m. But when you do that at like 11.30, that's like apéro time. Well, for all of us normal people, let's say the, uh, the average geek doesn't get up at 7 a.m. on a Sunday, right? So we can call it the breakfast show even at, at 11 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> True. Actually, I woke up at like can you go back three... To chat? three uh, I actually go by, uh, wake up at, uh, at 3, 3 p.m. this uh, So this you day. guys never sleep. Uh, yeah, actually, <laughs> from from Thursday to, to Friday, I was sleeping three hours. Last night, I was sleeping four hours. I think it's going to be four hours again. You want to stay here and continue to uh, answer the question of the guys? I can still stay for like one minute. <laughs> <laughs> no, a little bit, yeah, but then... Okay, that, guys, keep on going on the live chat. We're going to end up uh, the, the show, but we're going to keep answering all the questions. Actually, you're going to keep answering them live while I'm doing the change of the video. <laughs>